Our fishing trip in the Philippines so far has been challenging, but we're not giving up. Fortunately, our base camp is very comfortable. And the resort we are staying at has some of the nicest people working there. Each day, the kitchen staff is doing its best to impress all of us at the end of our day of fishing. The restaurant menu items include terrific appetizers like spring rolls, coconut shrimp with pineapple, and deep fried chili peppers. Main dish selections by the resort chef also offers choices like baby back ribs, chicken cordon bleu, and ribeye steaks. But boy, their specialties like grilled calamari, seafood curry, and open fire roasted prawns made even a day of fishing with no success <laughs> much easier to live with. But eventually, we've got to get back on the water to prove ourselves. This time, let's try the shallow waters right off the beach. Who knows, maybe with our light tackle, we'll get lucky. Oh boy, Mama told me there'd be days like these. Okay, let's go back in, grab our camera phones, and execute plan B again. Hey Ray, what's next? We're gonna go see snakes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Holy smokes, Ray, what is this? Yes, this is the Philippine Python. The name is Milia. When it was captured, five feet and five kilos. Now that is 10 years old, becomes 250 kilograms, uh, 16 feet long. And she was eating uh, chicken two times daily. Oh. Yes. Is that a chicken in here? Yes. Oh, good. Oh. Not bad, Ray. Okay, what else you got? Oh yeah, the Targiers. Generally, is that a tajir? Yes, this is it. This is the tajir, the smallest primate. They are nocturnal animals, which means they're only active at night. They are solitary, as you can see. You can see only one tajir in per territory. They are also territorial. Mm -hmm. And their maximum size only six inches. How long will they live? They could live 15 to 24 years. No kidding. Yes. Are we allowed to, to handle them at all? No, sir. They are not allowed to be hold because they are stressful uh -huh. and they, they are very sensitive. They're in a protected area of Bohol, isn't it? This entire area is a conservation area? Ah, this is a conservation area and this is a 16 hectares and only 1.6 is open for viewing. So we can only see 12 because others are in the breeding area mm -hmm. being bred and they are already um, almost endangered. What are their predators? Their predators are the snakes and the wildcats. Even house scouts do find them. Mm. You know, for those of you who like to travel with your camera, this is one heck of a photo opportunity. And it doesn't end here. There's one more stop we want to make before we head back out on the ocean.
That was pretty cool. Okay, we've got our pictures of pythons, tarsiers, and monkeys. But what we really need for this show are pictures of fish. And a fish market may just be the place. It's not exactly what I had in mind when we were planning this trip. But anyways, if we wander around long enough, we should get a snapshot or two. Okay, this is the situation. For us, it's the bottom of the ninth inning, there's two outs, and we're on the losing end of a no-hitter. But are we gonna give up? Are we really going to call it quits? After traveling all this way, go back home without catching one fish? Yeah, we are. All that's left to say is this. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. Folks, a lot of people say thank you for this great time in the Philippines. Craig Mitchell, and Mike, and Mikey, and Monty, and Roger, and Gary. Hey guys, promise me next time it's gonna be a catching trip, not a fishing trip. <laughs> Folks, don't go away. A lot more of the fishing show is coming your way right after you catch this. Bye-bye!